Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons with Lancashire Hot Pot. Doesn't that look inviting? Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this absolutely wonderful Lancashire hot pot. One little change I've made because I'm still trying to avoid carbs and sugar and stuff like that is I've used celeriac instead of potatoes on the top but as I say it's an absolutely beautiful dish. It's classic for a reason, they all are because they're really damn good. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go now and I know that you're going to really like this video. Alright, so there you can see the ingredients lined up on the board. It's not that many, it's quite a simple dish this. Uh, just peeling the carrots and the onions. The carrots are quite large and a bit tough, so, but if you've got younger carrots, you don't need to peel them even. Slice the onions with the grain. And they're a classic recipe for this, and I'll put the recipe in the description below. Wouldn't have carrots and celery, it would just have lamb and onions and potatoes. But, you know, I say I'm adding that to it. I don't think anyone's gonna to be too upset by that. Um, or comment me if you are. <laughs> and just sort of thinking, what size am I gonna cut these carrots? It's, uh, it's not really for presentation, you just want them to cook evenly. It's going to be cooking for a very long time this. This is either a stew or a casserole. Take your time. So vegetables done. This is the bit of lamb shoulder I'm using. I've taken a piece on the half a shoulder that is, and that is with the blade attached to it. So I wanted to cook it as a whole piece to, to really benefit from having that, that bone there. That's going to really add flavour to the meat. And uh, a medium heat. For your nice big heavy pot here because I want to get a really good deep golden brown colour on this lamb that is going to add a huge amount of flavour and colour to the finished dish so just take your time there when you're happy with that that's great you've got a bit more fat in the pan obviously come out from the lamb and use about a third of your vegetables at this stage a little bit of salt will just always help the vegetables to break down speed up the cooking process and in with some hardy herbs from my garden. I've got bay, thyme and rosemary. So just soften those vegetables just for a second, get them started. Sit your lamb on top. And now the stock, I'm using chicken stock, you could use lamb stock, it might be a bit, you know, a bit too much, or beef stock, vegetable stock even, I suppose. And the amount of stock is gonna, it depends on how you're cooking this. My lid, as I said, I'm doing on the top, I needed to keep checking and adding water to it as the water level was coming down or the stock level was coming down. Uh, after that we got to the stage of about just under three hours, that's how tender the lamb was. Time to drain the stock because it's going to have all bits in it. So we want to get those bits out and you can give the pan a little clean. And there goes, just squish all the flavour out from the vegetables. They've done their job. Thank you very much for that, vegetables. It's time to to shred this lamb. And if you weren't sure if it was cooked nicely, that lamb bone just fell out. That's absolutely gorgeous, but it's still really juicy. I hope you can, hope the pictures do this justice. I'm just going to show you a bit there. Look, that rather nice, doesn't it? And that winning me because, well, I deserve it. And this is a bit that some people may or may not like, but the fact that it got that nice and crispy, that's the skin, I think that's wonderful. Some people might go, ugh. And if you're one of those people, that's fine. I'm not judging. You just probably wouldn't want to put this in your uh, finished dish, but you know, oh, yum. So that all goes on a plate to the side. Yeah, there you go, just show you. Got quite a good yield out of that. And don't worry about getting it too shredded because it's gonna go back in a pot. It's gonna carry on cooking for a little while longer. So you know, and it will continue to break down. So that cleaned pot, in with the remaining vegetables, sprinkle the salt again, just to draw out the moisture from them, speed up the cooking process. And I want to create a little bit of color here. So this is over again of sort of medium heat. And there we go, we've got some color. That's gonna add more flavor and more color to this finished dish. And when you've got simple cooking like this, you know, you really want to maximize the flavorness of it. The flavorness? Whatever, you know, maximize the flavor, make it yummy. So back in with the stock, and as I say, you can keep adjusting with a little bit of water if you need to for that stock, but you can see how the color changed in it as well. It really picked up some flavor. Uh, cook that for about half an hour, give the vegetables a chance to cook, taste it, adjust the seasoning with salt and pepper, 
and just leave that to the side whilst you prepare your potatoes. Well, in obviously in this case, it's a celeriac. But so this, you know, diet's working quite well for me. And I, I but I just, I don't want to just have carbs when I don't have to. So the celeriac has got a lot less carbs than in the potatoes. So you do you. But the results will be the same. So pick a nice sort of size, not too thin, not too thick, for your celeriac or potatoes, and. Have a look at this now. So if you wanted that to be a more of a thickened gravy, you could have added a tablespoon of flour in the second stage of the cooking into the vegetables, stirred it in, and that would have given you a thickened gravy. Or you could use a bit of corn flour, cornstarch at the end. Up to you. But I like it like that. I think this dish suits being quite runny, really. Anyway, so I've got my celeriac on top, a bit of oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of pick thyme, into a hot oven, lid off, until it well it looks beautiful and then you just double check with your knife is it yeah they're cooked aren't they because the knife is going through them quite easily and then you uh you dish yourself up a bowl and oh my god i, I definitely reserve um recommend serving this in a bowl because it's so juicy and let's have some more that juice and uh, anyway i'm going to hand you over to me right, for the tasting out the way. lancashire hot pot how is it i wonder well, first of all, let's try it with the celeriac because, you know, because. It's stunning and delicious. Amazing. Let's just try a bit of this lamb without the celeriac. But I think you can see mm. how delightfully wonderful, tasty this dish is. Well done, the people of Lancashire, for making such a beautiful dish. Anyway, so thanks if you're going to take the time to like and make a comment and what have you and things like that. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you in the next video coming pretty soon. Bye then.